Hi, it's Mr. Matthews from St. Dennis Church, and welcome to this week's Children's Liturgy of the Word for August 9th, 2020, the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ Jesus, you are with us when we are afraid. May we trust in you and be brave. And may we be ready to help others who are scared or in need too. Amen. The first reading is from the book, the first book of Kings. Elijah went into a cave and spent the night. The Lord said, Elijah, go out and stand on the mountain. I am going to pass that way. At once, a strong and mighty wind shook the mountain and shattered the rocks. But the Lord was not in the wind. An earthquake shook the ground, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, hardly a sound was heard. Elijah covered his face with his robe and went out and stood at the entrance to the cave. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we'll sing our responsorial psalm, Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation now you sing lord show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation I will listen to you, Lord God, because you promised peace to those who are faithful. You are ready to rescue everyone who worships you, so that you will live with us in all of your glory. Lord, show us your mercy and love, and grant us your salvation. Love and loyalty will come together. Goodness and peace will unite. Loyalty will sprout from the ground. Justice will look down from the sky above. Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. Our Lord, you will bless us. Our land will produce wonderful crops. Justice will march in front, making a path for you to follow. Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. Now it's time for the Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now you sing. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for His word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made his disciples get into a boat and start back across the lake. 
but he stayed until he had sent the crowds away. Then he went up on a mountain where he could be alone and pray. Later that evening, while he was still there, by this time the boat was a long way from the shore. It was going against the wind and was being tossed about by the waves. A little while before morning, Jesus came on the water towards his disciples. He was walking on the water. When they saw him, they thought he was a ghost, and they were terrified and started screaming. At once, Jesus said to them, Don't worry. I am Jesus. Don't be afraid. Peter replied, Lord, if this is really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Come on, Jesus said. Peter then got out of the boat and started walking on the water toward him. But when Peter saw how strong the wind was, he was afraid, and he started sinking. Lord, save me, he shouted. Right away, Jesus reached out his hand. He helped Peter up and said, You surely don't have much faith. Why do you doubt? When Jesus and Peter got onto the boat, the wind died down. The men in the boat worshipped Jesus and said, You really are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is another amazing miracle story we hear about Jesus this week. So this story happened right after the story we heard last week when Jesus fed the 5,000 people with just five loaves and a few little fish. After that happened, he sent everyone away, and that's when this story happened. So what do you remember um, from the story that I read today? So Jesus walked on the water to reach his disciples in their boat. That must have been amazing, huh? But how did his disciples feel when they saw him? That's right, they were very scared. They thought he was a ghost. But Jesus said something really important to them that we have to always remember when we're scared. He said, do not be afraid. And the reason we have to not be afraid, and that he was telling them not to be afraid, is because he was there with them, right? It was pretty amazing um, to see what happened next, right? But before that, I want to talk a little bit about, about you and me. Are there any things that you're afraid of or that you're frightened of? When we're scared, we can remember that Jesus is with us and that he tells us too, do not be afraid. And this can help us feel brave. So what did Peter do in today's reading? He saw Jesus coming across him on the water, and he said, I want to try that too. That looks really cool. So he stepped out onto the water, and he started to walk to meet Jesus. But then what happened? That's right. Peter took his eye off of Jesus and started looking around at the scary storm, and he got scared, and he started to sink. Right? That's what happens when we take our eye off of Jesus, right? When we take our eyes off of Jesus and we're distracted by all the things and the craziness that's going around us in the world, it makes us afraid and we can lose our way and we can start to sink too. But Jesus immediately reached out and he grabbed Peter by the hand and he helped him back into the boat. And that's what we should do too, right? We can cry out to Jesus and say, help us Jesus or save us Jesus in prayer. Sometimes it can be hard to believe that we can do something difficult. Just like Peter, um, we might get scared, right? But God is there to help us to do things that we might think are impossible, like, you know, when Peter walked on the water. So, okay, maybe we won't be able to walk on the water, but we can do other things that scare us and feel impossible to begin with. Whether that's learning a new skill or standing up to someone who's being a bully, we might feel frightened. Um, or we might feel frightened, too, when someone we love is sick, right? We might be frightened when we have to go move to a new house or go some new place. 
or meet some new people. There are many times um, in life when we could feel afraid, right? Things can happen to make us scared. But we do not have to worry alone, right? We can always tell a grown-up, you know, a parent or a teacher or another family member that we trust or a brother or sister. Um, we can really always talk to Father One as well whenever there's something really bothering us on our mind. So we don't have to be alone in that. Um, and just like um, in our story when Jesus held out his hand to Peter, God is also always there to hear us and to help us through difficult times. So think about it now for a second. Have you ever had a time when you found the courage inside of you to do something that was really hard to do or something that you were um, originally a little bit afraid to do? And you get the courage from inside, maybe even said a little prayer. Believing and trusting in God helps us to get through those hard times and those tough times. But we also need to think of something else, right? We kind of know that God's there for us. But we also need to remember to hold our hands out to others to help them when they're scared or finding things difficult too. So they don't have to go through it alone, right? Jesus asks us to care for one another, to hold our hands out and help each other. To help those who are poor, who are sick, who are lonely or frightened. Anyone who is finding things hard, no matter who they are or where they come from. Even kids can find ways to help others. There are lots of stories of children doing simple things or amazing things to help out people who are having a hard time. I mean, you don't have to look very far on the internet to find stories of kids doing amazing things to help out. So the question here this week is, what will you do to reach out a helping hand to others this week? I know it's a little harder these days because we're all required to practice social distancing, but we can still offer a kind or encouraging word to a friend or a family member. And remember, one of the most powerful things that anyone can do to help someone is to pray for them. God promises to always hear our prayers when we pray in Jesus' name for the right things, and those things when they're in line with God's will. So let's make that the first thing that we think of when we want to help someone. We want to reach out a helping hand to someone. Let's remember to pray first, and then God can inspire us sometimes from inside to know what else to do to help them. This week, let's try to remember Jesus' words to his disciples. Do not be afraid. Let's believe and trust in him when things get hard or scary. And let's do whatever we can to help others who are in need. Amen? Okay, so let's say this prayer together. Dear Jesus, when the storms of life come up against us, help us to keep our eyes on you and put our trust in you. Amen. Now let's say our Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We know that God is always with us and always hears our prayers. So together, let's pray. Please respond out loud, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church throughout the world that, inspired by the love of Jesus, it may always reach out a helping hand to all those who are afraid, alone, sick, or in need of help. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are frightened, 
May they find courage in the support and love of those around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for St. Dennis Parish, our family and friends, that we may trust in God when we are afraid and always be brave enough to help those who are in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the prayers in our Parish Book of Intentions and the St. Dennis Prayer Chain, and for all of those who have gone before us. Today we pray especially for Lori Sear, for whom this Sunday's Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now you can say out loud someone's name or something that you would like to pray for. For all of these prayers, and for all of the prayers that we hold deep in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, we thank you for hearing our prayers and for your help in difficult times. As we trust in you, give us courage to help others who are finding life hard, wherever they are in the world. Amen. So that's it for this week's Children's Liturgy of the Word. And remember, listen to your parents, wash your hands, and say your prayers. Have a great week. Peace. Bye.